Re-Mortalization by Eddie Botha. The artists join me in the studio now. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good this morning. Off the Curve Gallery represent to you. It, yeah, it's usually you... quite illustrative and um, it's pretty edgy. It's it's more, there's, there's a fair bit more sort of on the edge of getting to street art and that sort of b cut between gallery and street art. Um, Sheenie is quite... Um, sort of, oh, she's very aware of what's happening in the industry, and so you, you you get a lot of fresh type of art there. Yeah. Um, Eddie, I noticed that uh, on your website you talk about uh, producing work with the intention to make people smile, but also ponder about serious issues in life. Yeah, um, I think there's enough negativity going on in the world, and um, I would like to um, make people smile. And I, there's nothing that gives me more pleasure when someone looks at my artwork and start pointing at it and sort of start giggling and stuff. So that's that's what I would like to happen. But there's also an underlying seriousness about some issues that we all know there's some serious stuff going on in the world. And um, I like to use a bit of psychology to bring that through and make people think about it. Sometimes it's subconscious. Uh, my mom's a psychiatrist, so I, I sort of play a bit with, you know, making people not really real, <laughs> making them know that I'm sort of getting something into their brain at times. But um, I think that's what art should do anyway. So, but I'm, I may be a little bit more aware of that than than some other people, yeah. And my vision, putting your work out into a, a public field for criticism and commentary, is in some ways a very intimate act. It's, it's making yourselves vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the how you feel about mounting an exhibition. The is it and it's about people? It's a, it's it's that in interaction about people, and and it's it's a pretty interesting show, if I must say so. Yeah. Um, so, in terms of the the act of exhibiting work for for yourselves as as artists. Um, does it feel like that's something you have to do or something that you want to do? Because I know some artists who are just happy to make work and never show it to anyone, um, but then other artists who are wanting to push themselves and get their work out there. How, tell us about your relationship, I guess, with your work and with the public. Ultimately, I, like artists should make their work for themselves but also for other people. Well, that's that's my opinion anyway. Like, you, you, you want to express something and to not share that with others would be a bit unfair. But I could understand that some artists might want to keep it private and just for themselves. But to me, that would be a bit of a loss. There's you could you could influence people around you in a, in a in a good way and sort of express yourself and just show people something about what's going on inside you. Yeah. How terrifying yeah. is it? I mean, I'm not a visual artist, so gonna, if I come to somebody's exhibition, I'm trying to be supportive, say nice things, have a, share a glass of wine with them, and look at the work. Um, is it is an opening night for an exhibition um, a terrifying experience or a positive one? How often have people come up and said it's not your best work, but uh, <laughs> because uh, it's. I, I I'm a theatre critic, so if, if a playwright on an opening night says to me after, what did you think of the show, I'm going to be honest, because they're going to read my opinion anyway. Uh, are people sometimes brutally honest? Some, yeah, sometimes. And, Bastards. And I, 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 I do appreciate it. It's, it. It hurts, but you've got to appreciate it, um, because that's what you need, and that's partially why you should have a show, is to get that feedback and, and find out where you're at and how people respond to it, and it, it is important. But it is hair-raising. It's like... I started sleeping bad like at least three or four nights. I had the show prepared like a month ago and I started sleeping bad about three or four nights ago. I woke up at half past four this morning, half past, yeah, half past four this morning and I was just, I, I, I get really tensed up. And on the opening night as well, but not as bad. Actually, that's sort of when, you know, it's done. Like there's nothing you can do about it, but you, 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 you're you still a bit, up then, that's you, know, you, you, you just feel vulnerable. It's, that's probably the best word. You just feel vulnerable. So you know, both a uh, tomorrow night, three off the Curb Gallery, 66B Johnson Street, Collingwood. You can find out more information at offthecurb.com.au. Given what they're doing, 6 p.m. and 9 p.m., or go and check out the exhibition at some stage between t uh, tomorrow and the 31st of July when it closes. Guys, thank you so much for joining us.